Okay, guys, let's grab some dumbbells for the next bunch of exercises. Now, the other thing I want you guys to do is grab yourselves either a flat bench or a multifold mat um, to create some elevation for these exercises. Okay, guys, we're going to work some single arm rows for this one. So you can do one of two things. So you're going to set up with one knee, either on your mat or on your bench, and use your hand for support. I'm going to go straight leg with my other leg, okay? So this is giving me a nice solid base, and all I'm going to do from here is pull up to my ribs and drop it straight back down there, okay? Squeeze and get that stretch, just like that. I'm going to do this off both sides. 60 seconds on one side, 60 seconds on the other side. Your time. All right, guys, let's change sides. And let's keep going. Go. Okay, guys, we're going to work some Superman hyper extensions for this one. So all you're going to do is you're going to use your folding mat or your bench, and we're just going to have a lie down on it, just like that. Okay. All we're going to do from here, feet and um, arms together, and all we're going to do from here is lift straight up, just like that, and straight back down. Now, what we want to try and do is we just want to try and keep um, the elbows and the knees as straight as you can keep them. So the idea is not to allow any bend, in particular in the knees, okay? Watch out for that. So from here, just lifting straight up, looking up, and then back down, finish right there, and go again. Okay, this is a fantastic um, lower back posterior oblique exercise. And you're gonna feel it in your glutes as well. Let's get you guys to try it.
Okay, guys, hold on to your dumbbells. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. All right, guys, let's change sides. And let's keep going. Go. Okay guys, we're going to work some renegade rows for this one. Now you can do one of two things. If you've got your bench with you, move that out of your way. Um, if you're using a multi-fold mat, keep it underneath you for support. So from here, I'm just going to make sure my dumbbells are in that hammer position. Um, legs are relatively wide to keep a nice sturdy base. I'm going to lift into a row and drop it back down. And then alternate. Now I've got to make sure I'm keeping my elbows tucked in. Just like that. Um, you want to make sure you're keeping that straight line between your shoulder and your ankle while you're doing this because you want to make sure your core is active the whole time. Okay? Just pulling straight up, dropping it straight back down, and alternating. Your turn.
right guys, we're going to work some circular shrugs for this one. So this is a relatively easy exercise. What you want to try and do, our arms are nice and straight. They're just hanging. My shoulders are nice and loose, okay? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift in a circle. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my shoulders as close to my ears as I can, okay? And just nice circular, steady motion. Um, what you want to remember with this one, you want to make sure you're keeping your back nice and tight and don't bend your elbows. There's none, of, there's none of that going on, okay? Elbows are staying nice and straight and all the movement is coming from your traps and your rhomboids. It's not actually using your arms at all, okay? Your arms are simply there to hold onto the weights, that's all. Your turn. Okay guys, I want you to watch this one carefully because it's a little bit tricky, okay? It's a stiff snatch lift. So basically what it is, watch as I do it, this is basically a deadlift that works its way into a front delts raise and just finishes up there, okay? Back down and drop it again, okay? So what you gotta make sure you do is make sure the feet are at shoulder width, knees are always soft, Okay, and don't make it too jerky. I want you guys to watch your back as you do it. Uh, you might have to lighten up on the weights for this one a little bit because the deadlift is a lot easier than the front delts raise, so there is a bit of a mismatch there. So you want to make sure the front delts raise is um, comfortable enough for you to get through a minute of this exercise. Okay, watch again. So from here, right there, and back down, and one more time. Your turn. Let's get ready to go again and repeat the last three exercises.
Okay guys, this one's a little bit tricky, so I want you guys to watch out. So we're either gonna sort of watch our range if you're doing this on a bench, or if you need to do this on the floor, just get off your bench, um, lie down on the floor and do it from the floor. So these are some windscreen wipers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up, arms nice and straight, vertical, and then I'm gonna get my legs to match them up just like that. And all we're gonna do from here is we're gonna come out to one side just like that, and then squeeze back to the middle. So we're really focusing on the lower abs and working the obliques on this one. Just like that, squeeze, take it there. Now, you wanna make sure, particularly if you're um, doing this exercise on a bench, you wanna make sure you don't tip over, okay? If you wanna test your limits, um, I do recommend doing the exercise on the floor. Your turn. Okay guys, so if you're using a bench for this one, move it out of your way. If you're using a folding mat because it's much lower, it's okay to leave it underneath you for some support. So this is a crab plank. So basically what it is, I'm doing a plank, but I'm working it from a really wide area, arms and legs. Now you've got to make sure you keep that tight line from your shoulder all the way to your ankle. So I don't want to do this, I don't want my bum sticking out because my abs not active then. From here, I'm just going to drop down slightly and I'm just going to hold it there, just like that. We're gonna get you guys to try that for a minute.
Okay, guys, I want you to watch this one carefully because it's a little bit tricky, okay? It's a stiff snatch lift. So basically what it is, watch as I do it, this is basically a deadlift that works its way into a front delt raise and just finishes up there, okay? Back down and drop it again, okay? So what you got to make sure you do is make sure the feet are at shoulder width, knees are always soft, okay? And don't make it too jerky. I want you guys to watch your back as you do it. Uh, you might have to lighten up on the weights for this one a little bit because the deadlift is a lot easier than the front delts raise, so there is a bit of a mismatch there. So you want to make sure front delts raise is um, comfortable enough for you to get through a minute of this exercise. Okay, watch again. So from here, right there, and back down, and one more time. Your turn. Let's get ready to go again and repeat the last three exercises.
Okay, guys, we're going to work a torso twist from a push-up or a plank position, if you like, just from here. Now, what I'm going to do, shoulder width on the arms and on the legs, um, nice, sturdy, straight line from my shoulder to my ankle. Now, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to twist up 180 degrees right there and drop back down. Let's try the other side. What I want you guys to focus on is my toes. Have a look at my toes. As I twist, I'm still staying on my toes. Okay, I'm not doing this. I'm not dropping to the side. Staying on my toes. And right there. Your turn. Okay, let's get into it, guys. Go. So you guys can see Ben is twisting up and having a look at his hand as he does. So that's going to make sure you hit the right mark. Now we're making sure we're keeping a nice straight body through this one. And just focusing on Ben's toes, you can see that he's shuffling from side to side, but he's remaining on his toes. He's not allowing his heels to touch the ground. Let's keep working through those. Now I want you guys to go at your own pace and I want you to make sure you're maintaining your form throughout this exercise. Keep working. We've got about 10 seconds left on this one. We've got to keep that plank in place to make sure the body's nice and still. No snake roll at all on this one. One last repetition. And we're done, perfect. All right guys, obliques twist for this one. So the way I'm gonna do this one is I'm gonna go both dumbbells pressed together like that. I'm gonna twist out to one side. I'm gonna stop before I touch the floor. And other side. Now, I wanna make sure my top arm remains straight the whole time. So you can see the top arm doesn't have any bend in it. Just like that. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those, Christina. So you guys can see beautiful soft straight arms. You want to make sure you've got it soft straight the whole time and the power is coming from your obliques. You can see no movement below the navel. Okay, so we're keeping that nice and sturdy. It's only an oblique twist at the top. Now, there's a couple of different ways of doing this. I want you guys to watch. So if if you're doing it that way and you're having difficulty holding up two dumbbells, you can always grip this way with one. So just drop one of your dumbbells and work with just one of them. Let's keep going. So exhaling as you're twisting back up into your vertical position. We're going to inhale as we're dropping down. One last repetition. Okay, we're going to work a hip raise for this one. So watch, I'm going to get my dumbbells and I'm going to put them on my stomach this time, okay? Now, my feet are parallel and the shoulder width. And from here, I'm just going to lift straight up. I'm going to get to this point where I've got a straight line between my knee and my shoulder. And then I'm going to drop back down and rest and lift again. Really squeezing my glutes and really squeezing my hamstring as well. Your turn. Okay, let's go, Christina. Perfect. So you guys can see the dumbbells are sitting on Christina's stomach. Her elbows are not touching the floor, so we're keeping those off. And basically what this is doing is this is just creating some additional uh, resistance for your hips raise. Now, if you're having some difficulty with this move, you can actually lose your dumbbells. Just drop them to the side if you have to. Um, if not, there are quite a few advantages in doing it this way. One is that you've got that additional amount of weight on your stomach and you've got no assistance from your arms, so you're purely relying on your shoulder blades and your feet holding you up. Um, this is a more difficult way of doing this exercise, but it's a really good, really effective uh, way of doing it. Let's keep working. Let's go for two more reps, Christina. One last one, we want to make sure we hit that straight line every time and relax. Perfect. Let's get ready to go again and repeat the last three exercises.
Okay, let's get into it, guys. Go. So you guys can see Ben is twisting up and having a look at his hand as he does. So that's going to make sure you hit the right mark. Now we're making sure we're keeping a nice straight body through this one. And just focusing on Ben's toes, you can see that he's shuffling from side to side, but he's remaining on his toes. He's not allowing his heels to touch the ground. Let's keep working through those. Now I want you guys to go at your own pace. I want you to make sure you're maintaining your form throughout this exercise. Keep working. So we've got about 10 seconds left on this one. Got to keep that plank in place to make sure the body's nice and still. No snake roll at all on this one. One last repetition. And we're done. Perfect. Okay, let's get into those, Christina. You guys can see beautiful soft straight arms. You want to make sure you've got it soft straight the whole time and the power is coming from your obliques. You can see no movement below the navel. Okay, so we're keeping that nice and sturdy. It's only an oblique twist at the top. Now there's a couple of different ways of doing this. I want you guys to watch. So if, if you're doing it that way and you're having difficulty holding up two dumbbells, you can always grip this way with one. So just drop one of your dumbbells and work with just one of them. Let's keep going. So exhaling as you're twisting back up into your vertical position. We're going to inhale as we're dropping down. One last repetition. And time. Good job. Okay, let's go, Christina. Perfect. So you guys can see the dumbbells are sitting on Christina's stomach. Her elbows are not touching the floor, so we're keeping those off. And basically what this is doing is this is just creating some additional uh, resistance for your hips raise. Now if you're having some difficulty with this move, you can actually lose your dumbbells. Just drop them to the side if you have to. Um, if not, there are quite a few advantages in doing it this way. One is that you've got that additional amount of weight on your stomach and you've got no assistance from your arms, so you're purely relying on your shoulder blades and your feet holding you up. Um, this is a more difficult way of doing this exercise, but it's a really good, really effective uh, way of doing it. Well, let's keep working. Let's go for two more reps, Christina. One last one, we want to make sure we hit that straight line every time and relax. Perfect. Bent over rows for this next exercise, guys. Watch me. So I'm going to go knees together, nice neutral spine just bending right over. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to pull straight to my waistline, keep my elbows tucked right in and drop straight back down. Just like that. One more rep. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into those bent over rows. Go. So looking at Christina's form, you can see a nice neutral tight spine here. Knees are bent. So knees are bent, so that's not only giving her a nice structural balance, but it's just helping her with her back as well. It's uh, protecting the back. Elbows are tucked by her side, so you can see they're coming straight up. Everything's nice and parallel. Dropping straight down and coming right up to the waistline. Now, she's not coming up to the chest. She's coming to the waist like that. I want you guys to make sure you're doing the same thing. You can see nice steady movement. There's no swinging. It's a straight up and down movement. And five more reps. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. And have a rest. 
bent over T rows for this next exercise. I want you guys to watch me. So I'm gonna bring my dumbbells together like that, like it's one long bar. I'm gonna start from here. I'm gonna pull my elbows right out, pushing right up and straight back down. So I'm gonna stop. I wanna try and create a T, elbow to elbow like that. And bending forward, knees are bent, back's protected. I've got a nice neutral spine going and just working from there. Okay, let's get into it, Sarah. Good. So you guys can see nice bend in the knees. We're leaning forward, but we're protecting our spine, so we're not hunching over like that. And as you're as she's pulling up, you can see a nice T. So she's dropping, coming up to that perfect T, and allowing the weights to. Just go back together, make a straight bar, and straight back up again. Perfect movement, just like that. We're gonna keep working through those. I want you guys to focus on the same thing. Now, as you start to tire, you tend to do a couple of things. You tend to, one, start to drop your elbows. We wanna make sure we're not dropping them. You wanna keep it nice and high. And then you wanna make sure you're not bending your wrists either. Keep working through. We've got two more reps now. Keep that perfect form in place. One more. And time. Bent over lateral raise for this next exercise, guys. I want you to watch me. So I'm gonna start in that hammer position. My dumbbells are touching each other. And from here, it's a lateral movement, just like that, in that bent position. So we're really working the back of the shoulders, working your rear delts, and we're going um, all the way towards your spine and hitting those rhomboids as well. Just like that. Let's get you guys to try it. Okay guys, let's get into those bent over lateral raises. Let's go. So we're gonna make sure our feet and knees are together. We're gonna bend those knees, keeping that spine nice and neutral, protected. We're not hunching over at all. And you can see nice lateral movement. Perfect, just lifting straight up with those arms, soft straight and finishing at a nice perfect T, which is what Christina's is doing. That's spot on, let's keep them going. Now, as you start to tie with this exercise, you tend to start to bend your elbows. We want to make sure we're not doing that. Okay? We want to be able to get out from the delts. We want to be able to push all the way in towards your thoracic spine. Let's keep working. We've got two more reps, Christina. And one more. And time. Well done for getting through your class today, guys. If you could turn your attention to your instructor for stretching and cool down.